Well, hello everyone. I'm back. I'm back. I decided to, to do another uh, quick one. Um, <clears throat> it's about 25 minutes to 10. I've already had my, my snack. And uh, yes, I had tuna fish and chips, but this time I had had those uh, sun-dried uh, oh, um, sun chips. And they're pretty, those are pretty good and they're, they're baked. But anyway, welcome to my channel again. And Jesus loves you. Jesus wants you. And I wanted to say something I've been naming on saying for the, the last two or three times since I did that one video when I was really on fire, the, um, I think a couple of days ago. It was after I watched Nikki's video. <clears throat> I, wanted to, I wanted to tell everybody that I'm not a Bible-thumping Bible type of, of minister, servant, whatever, however way you want to, you want to put it. Um, but I was just trying to get a point, a point across um, because Jesus is coming. He is coming. And again, I say there's more and more stuff going on every day. More and more stuff going on. And um, Jesus is very loving and forgiving. Very loving and forgiving. And um, sometimes I just, sometimes I don't know how to word things. And when I was reading from the Bible a while ago um, on here, um, just like the Bible says, you know, that um, I try to do, to, to, to stay in his will and do, and do his will, you know. And that's what, that, that was talking about in some of those verses I was reading, you know. And we have to go, we, we have to be in um, God's will. I keep wanting to say that, in God's will. Not our will be done, but thy will be done. You know, and <clears throat> all we can do is love people, pray for people, you know, love one another and pray for one another. And all we are trying to do, um, Nikki, Pilgrim, a couple others, and I, all, all we are trying to do is win you over to, 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 to make some people see we don't, we don't want anybody to end up in the bad place. And as, as I've read in the Bible before, the dead in Christ are going to rise first. And then we're going to, us that remains, that still remain here on earth, <clears throat> we're going to meet them, meet them in the clouds. Even the thought of that gets me excited if we're, we're completely right with the Lord. It should get everybody happy and, and excited and, and not scared. I mean, there's a lot of people on edge about it, not knowing what to expect. Like I, I've said that before, too. <clears throat> but I know myself, when, when, when we hear the trumpet sound, some people say that everybody, everybody will hear, hear the trumpet. And other people says no, only the Christians We'll hear it, but the Bible says that every ne every knee shall bow and and every and everybody will confess. You know, I say, how's that go? Every knee shall bow. And I forget forget it now how it goes. I don't want to say something that, that that it doesn't say. You know, and I have to be very careful on that too. I was I was that was brought to my attention by one of the uh, the guys on the, that well the, on that group I was on. <clears throat> you got to be able to back it up with Bible scriptures. Well, see the trouble. With, the thing with me is, I know that the verses I talk about are on, or and I should say, are in the Bible. They're in the Bible. I mean, I was raised up. I mean, a lot of the verses are in there that I've said. But they say, well, you need you need to 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 quote them, quote them um, from the Bible. I mean, from uh, you know. And back them up with, with scripture, what, what you say. And that is true. But to those of, ne of you that know, I mean, I know the things are in the Bible. And there's been lots of things that I've talked about. And then the Lord took me right to the scriptures. You know, he's done that to me many times. And, and you all know that that have been with me for a while. You all know that that's true. I'll say this again. I am not a false prophet. I'm not a hypocrite. And I'm not... A fake. I love my Lord Jesus Christ. I love him. And he is teaching me. He's teaching me. 
you know. So, I mean, if I slip once in a while and, and, and maybe don't, don't say something right or whatever, then just, you know, I'm doing the best I can do, people. I'm doing the best that I can do. <clears throat> I didn't ever think that I would be doing these videos. And I've said this before too, but that's okay. I didn't think I would ever be doing something like this. I'm trying to get my daughter to get on here with me sometime. I, I'm hoping that she will. I'm hoping that she will. I said, it's not anything to be afraid of. I mean, it's not live. I mean, yeah, I mean, everybody will see him, but, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm a little nervous about doing these videos, but it makes me happy because it glorifies my Lord. It's not to glorify me or edify me. It's to, to glorify my Jesus Christ, my Savior and my Lord and Savior my Redeemer, and um, I've gotten really, really close and personal on, on a couple of, of these videos to, to really look, look deep within me, look deep within me, and you'll see, you'll see that I am a true Christian, and I'll say this again, we all stumble, we all do, but the Lord is always there to pick us up, and once in a great while, I'm doing a lot better on that too, but once a, once in a great while, <clears throat> I'll let a curse word slip out, but it's not anything really bad, you know, and I never did really, and I, I never um, used God's name in vain. I mean, years and years ago, I did a couple of times, but that was back when I was doing my own thing, so to speak, and, but I don't do that. I haven't, and, and I hate to hear anybody use God's name in vain. I mean, I don't want to hear any swear words whatsoever, but if a person has to swear, I would just as soon hear that than, than taking the Lord thy God's name in vain. I was thinking about something while I go to one of the, the main, one, one of the, the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not have any gods before me. That's another one of the Ten Commandments. You know, and I left out the word adultery too on that other video when I was fired up. You know, when I was talking about the idolaters and all that, and adultery, adultery, committing adultery. You know, thou shalt not commit, I think that's one of the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not commit adultery. Yeah, it is. Gosh, glory. You, you know the, <laughs> the Ten Commandments. But anyway, I'm not going to be on here too long tonight. It, it's seven minutes, almost eight minutes. <clears throat> but I just felt that I wanted to get back on here, you know, just for a little bit and do a little bit more explaining. And I will be getting back into my life series too. And uh, going back to my first love again. Uh, you know, I told you before on here that when I feel that I'm done with that subject, then I will stop. And um, so that's the way it is. I've, th I've thought of other things too that I'll be talking about concerning him. So, <clears throat> but like I said before, when you know that, when you know that there is a God and you turn against him, now is not the time. Now is the time to come back, come back to the Lord, you know, and so, but we all, we, we, we all go through a lot of things, you know, and I'll say this again, Jesus loves you just the way you are, just the way you are. And. I've even had people tell me tell me that you have the nerve to, to be to do videos. You have the nerve to get on there and be a hypocrite and do videos when you still smoke cigarettes. Do you drink beer too? No, I haven't had a beer in a long, long time, but that's beside the point. That's like they're judging, judging me. And my Lord loves me just the way I am. He's proven his love to me, and I'm proving my love to him, too. And like I said before, and I'll say this again, the cigarettes will be gone. They'll be gone. It's just a little harder. It's a little harder to quit this time. And I admit it. It's a little harder to quit. You know, I mean, so anyway, I'll, I'll say this to you again. God bless you. God bless you, one and all. And... Getting and something else. Getting back to, I never was raised up to have fancy things. You know, I wasn't raised up like that. Even when me and her dad, my daughter's father, when we were together, and he made good money working at Donnelly's. 
but we didn't have fancy fancy things because we, we like to eat out a lot and everything too and we like to shop and stuff you know but I'm not a fancy person the house I live in it's nice it, it's nice you know and but I'm not I like to look nice I don't go out and buy brand new clothes just once in a great while I do I get my hair done every once in a while once or twice well maybe sometimes once a week sometimes a couple times a week but that's I don't have very many luxuries. I don't have very many luxuries. Because, like I said, I wasn't raised to, 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 to have a lot not of nice things like that. I just wasn't raised that way, you know. <clears throat> just like that little greenhouse I lived, we lived in on Payette back in the, in the 2000, about 2000, 2002 to 2005, I think, three years. It was kind of run down. Needed the roof fixed in it. I didn't have it. We didn't have a basement. My daughter lived with me then too. <laughs> you know that was after she come back from from Arkansas and everything. But yeah, I mean, but the Lord, the Lord wants us. Us, He blesses us with things. When, when we love Him and, and do what we know, we, we think we, that He'll be proud of us. You know, He He blesses us with things. I mean, so I'm not going to put myself down because I have a I have a little bit better life now. I thank my Lord and Savior for that. You know, I thank my Lord and Savior, and also because of Joyce's father, they put me on straight Social Security. I was on disability, and and now I'm on straight Social Security, which is better. I I, I have. A little more to do with too, and with a little bit extra help, you know. But I never was into to, to any uh, the the fancy finery and all that. And the Bible also says too, you're not supposed to, to to store your treasures up on earth. They're supposed to be store them up in heaven. I mean, so I just want I just want to say that for some reason, <laughs> I don't have to have a fancy a fancy place. As long as we, as we're happy and praising the Lord, and that's just me, just plain old Gloria Harlow, from my roots, my roots, and we had, I had a very happy childhood. We didn't have the best, like I said, my dad, my mom got my dad suits from the Salvation Army, nice suits for five dollars, really nice suits. We couldn't go out and spend two hundred dollars for a suit or nothing like that my dad my mom she 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 did laundry she took she babysat t took care of children you know to have extra to, to, to get me through school you know and, and everything and we made it we made it dad didn't make very much money where at home is where he worked but we made it and that's just why I, I was brought up I wasn't brought up to have fancy things I mean, so, and all the money in the world cannot buy true love and happiness. All the money in the world. A person can have millions of dollars and still not be happy. But, well, the Lord wanted me to say all kinds of stuff tonight. And I, I'm up to almost 14 minutes again. But <clears throat> I just wanted to give you a little bit more. I just want to tell you a little bit more about me. <clears throat> yeah, you see my hair all, my hair all pretty and it's colored and all that. But there was a few years, lots and lots of many, many, many years, I couldn't do that. I had to get boxed uh, hair color that that was bad for my hair, but it was cheaper, of course. And but I never was one to, to go out and buy a lot of fancy clothes. You know, I mean, I'd buy tapes once in a while, cassette tapes, things like that once in a while, or, or back when when they had uh, vinyl, the vinyl records, you know, forty fives and albums. I bought them once in a great while, but anyway, I, I just felt that I wanted to get on here and talk about that. The finer, the finer things in life isn't important to me. It's 14 minutes, 35 seconds, but I wanted to tell you that too. I'm just an old country girl. I have country ways like my precious father, like my daddy. So I love you all. Come back and see me again. Come back and see me. God bless you. And may God richly bless may God richly bless you. So good night. This is my last video for tonight. I love you all. Bye bye.